was struggling uh, with money at first, so I had to work there at some shitty jobs. I was working as a kitchen porter, like cleaning dishes in a restaurant, and I was disgusted by that. Uh, I was just like thinking how people can spend all their life doing something like that. Uh, it was really hard job and stressful environment, so they kicked me out of the job. I was kind of homeless at one point, and uh, I was in London, I have no place to stay, I had no money. So the only thing uh, which came to my mind, okay, I will go to, uh, to the streets of London and I will just play music <laughs> and we'll try to earn some money. So uh, we met some some of our friends who were living in uh, in a squats. Uh, squats are um, abandoned houses. It's basically house which where no one is living. So if nobody lives there and you can get there inside, uh, you can kind of live there until the police evicts you. So we went there, and it was kind of perfect life. <laughs> I didn't have any any money, like zero. I didn't have anything, not me, not my wife. Yet we were in a community of similar persons. There were artists, there were filmmakers, there were photographers, uh, musicians, and all kinds of creative people who also were struggle with money. And they were in squads uh, because they were working on their own projects. So they don't need to pay for the rent, so they don't need to work. And therefore they have time to work on their, their projects. And that was like in incredible. Also, since no one had money, everyone helping their, each other. And I've noticed that if you get into such environment where people don't have money, they really help each other way more. And nobody asks for that. It's there it's it's kind of normal to help each other because you know you cannot ask for money or for something you just help someone 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 helps you and it was like on such uh it was normality there also we didn't pay for the food uh, uh each each evening uh, we went to the supermarkets where they throw away a lot of uh, uh, food and i was shocked by that when you open uh, the container and it's full of fresh and good food in fact uh all our cupboards, all our fridges were packed with food and no one pay a cent, you know, for, for that food. The food wasn't a problem at all. And I was really shocked by that, like how much we waste. I was living like that uh, maybe for about two years. During that time we were moving from one uh, house to another because you cannot really live for a long time. So there was final day when there was a court and you know they gave us uh, eviction notice. On this date uh, you have to leave the house. The police came and we asked them, okay, you're right now throwing us away, so what's gonna be with this house? And they said, oh, we're gonna rebuild it and it will be open for the homeless people. And we're like, what? Like, you just made, you just created like a bunch of homeless people. <laughs> we're, right now we're homeless. <laughs> and, you know, you throw homeless people away to repaint it and, you know, to put other homeless people like, like, what's happening there? I understand like how perverted this the system is, that it doesn't really think about anything. It, there is no logic in it. And also, being in squats, living without money, I understand one very important lesson which stays with me till this day, that money is a limitation tool and nothing more. <laughs> 